record. And Projecta, on a Hey, Jack on a set of Puteradon, Puteradon, Okao, Hito Mavariste, Tanino Oeni, Soberu, Soberiona, Soberuoni Tonda. Jack, who was sitting on the back of the Puteradon, uh, he the Puteradon flew over the valley as if he was uh, sliding through the valley. Just sliding through the valley. Hi. And how about the Oko to Mawaste? Mawaste. Uh, I think that means, I don't know what Oka means, the kanji means, but I am going to guess it is, um, they are circling, circling. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, okay, uh, so like a hill, yeah, like a, oh, yeah, hill. Yeah. So basically it does around the hill. And oh. one turn, it goes around and flies and then... just sliding over the valley. Yeah. Perfect. Um, it's going to be a little hard, but feverish, gambaro. Oh boy. Uh, Takusan no. Uh, okay, so anat, Anato Saurusu. Is that a different dinosaur? Uh, the duck billed dinosaur, I believe. Oh, okay. Oh, and then the rest of the sentence. Uh, Suno Naka no Aka Chan Mo. Uh, Mamoteru. No, yeah, ga mieta. So our subject of the sentence is it Jack or is it Anatosaurus? Which do you think it is? Oh, yeah, I think it's the. Uh, oh, uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not too sure. So um, in a way, you could also argue it's a putradan could be the subject of the sentence since the last one is putradan. But basically, this is not the one seeing, being able to see is not the anaosorosu. The, th the person being able to see this would be Jack and the putradan. So this is what they can see from up in the sky. And what they can see is takusan no anatosaurusu. What does that part mean? I think it's like a lot of the anatosaurus. Yeah, exactly. And the thing they're doing is mamoteiru. Do you know what mamoru oh. means? Is, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so mamoru means to protect. So what do you think they are protecting? We got our akajan in the suno naka. Oh, uh, yeah, they're protecting their children. Yes, exactly. So they are able to see a bunch of duck-billed dinosaurs protecting their children. And Blake, your turn. Can you read the sentence and then afterwards try translating it? Oh, no. あ、ちょっと聞こえますかはい、聞こえる。あ、オッケー。と、谷のあ、向こうの草原では先の鳥毛トップス、あ、トライ、トライケラトップスが草を食べて食べている。うん。そう、あ、谷 um, I guess valley. it's like I could. Okay, so like uh, on the other side of the valley, um, or Solgen. I feel like I should know this. Solgen. If you look over here, we have Kusa, which uh, is... grassy field. Yeah. So, oh yeah, yep. yeah. Like yeah, I just had to look up the second kanji. <laughs> so, uh, 
uh, Saki no to okay, so basically the um, over the hill, um, like over oh, over the valley in the grassy fields, um, you would uh, 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 Triceratops is or moments ago was Triceratops, uh, is eating grass. Yes. So Muko is kind of more like the opposite side than like on top. So yeah. we have a valley where one side over there and that kind of idea. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, perfect. And feverish. Want to guys some Right. Uh so at first it, like i think it's just saying like excellent or nice basically amazing oh <laughs> uh, so i know Balkan means adventure it so it's like a big adventure, adventure. <laughs> yeah, it's adventure in the kuni you know what kuni means uh Nippon. country or countryside yes, a country so it's not countryside that would be 100 percent wrong it is only country oh. <laughs> um inaka okay. inaka would be countryside um so we're so it's an adventure basically in like of the country of kyoryu what's a kyoryu do you remember uh dinosaurs <laughs> I, yep Wow, Sugoizo! It's a grand adventure um in the in the country of dinosaurs because Bolkin on its own is adventure. So die, Bolkin! It's a big adventure. And um, project on a guys shimas. Hi, Jack was so excited. Jack felt like he was a bird. Yep. <laughs> and Blake on a guys shimas. Um, so Amai is like sweet, uh, Kaori, uh, I forget this. Kaori is oh, yeah, smell, yeah. like Nioi. Okay, so like, heard. yeah, the, the, uh, so the sweet smells, uh, good, uh, the, the good feeling in the air, oh, I guess, like the. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so basically, like, the good feeling, the good feeling coming from the, uh, the sweet smell is like a, a stroke on it. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, so like you're thinking too hard on, on this. So you don't want to yeah. always like translate things over everything at once. So we're now here. We're talking about mm -hmm. kaze. What does kaze mm -hmm. mean? Uh, it's like wind. So or, the wind yeah. is going to his hole. Nadeteiku. Yeah, Which it's like uh, uh, brushing his cheek. Yes. So the yeah, wind like, is yeah, rushing a sheep. Yeah. So it's gonna be used as a metaphor for the petting. And this mm -hmm. wind is kimochi e and also amai kaori. So these are just mm. two characteristics of the kaze. Oh, okay. So okay. it's a very I was just nice... getting confused by the no. I thought it was like a possessive or something. Totally. Yeah. Um Yeah, which is just um like Yodelehihu would be the um English version of that. Um <laughs> uh feverish on a guy Hi uh Jaku wa uh Ureshi Kunate um Sakenda. Well Ureshi means glad. So Jack was glad. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh Sakenda. <laughs> Yaho. Would you say this is a loud noise or a quiet noise? Probably a very loud noise. <laughs> very loud now. Sakebu means to yell. Uh oh. So Jack is overcome with happiness, screams out, Yaho! Which should probably be translated as Yorere Hihu or something. Because <laughs> um, it's, it's very common to do that when you're like at the echoey thingy. 
Otherwise, you might go like, hello. I'm not sure exactly what it would be in the English version. <laughs> I think uh, like uh, many people do it like Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo. And it can also be woohoo. Woohoo. That would be one way of doing it. I just know Yahoo does show up in this specific kind of like situation. Like, you know, like how Yoda Eiji who has that like culture idea where like you scream it and then it echoes back at you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it has a so it has a small amount of that connotation. I know that because it shows up in <laughs> um Yahoo. Use that with the echoing. So, but you Yahoo would make more sense if you were translating it. Because we don't really use your lady <laughs> yeah. anymore, I don't think. I don't <laughs> yeah, think we have a word really, that has the okay. same kind of <laughs> showing my age right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, project. Onigashimasu. はい。Riding on the back of the uh, I'm gonna guess it is Puteranodon because he's yep. currently riding the Puteranodon. Mm. So uh, to fly to the sky, it is really like a dream come true. Perfect. Yep. So Yokoryu is like the the category name of Puteragon. So Puteradon is one specific okay. kind of dinosaur underneath the category. Which has basically wing dragons. I mean, we, we wing dragon is wing dinosaurs. Mm. And here he is. Woo! Wow. Next is Blake. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's it. Putrano don't wa kao koe. Shigano. あ、しげみを超えてゆっくりとあ、歌詞の、あ、歌詞の木のえ、根も、とにも、降りた。おまけのそうまちかな。あ、やがて、あ、I'm so kind of like a, a soonish kind of meaning, but not like super duper vice. And then it goes, so the putradon et kawal koe. You know what that means? Oh, you've been muted. Oh, sorry. Uh, So I like, koeru, I would say like to pass through. Like, yes, so uh, specifically to cross river. over. The cross yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, like the cross over the river and then she got, i'm not sure what that is so that shida safety. is fern and shigemi oh, is thicket okay so, so thickets fern, of ferns so and then it uh so and then i guess since it's connected through the stem uh crosses over the river uh crosses over the yep. thick ferns yes yes so he uh, crosses over rivers and ferns. slowly yeah, and slowly, uh, katsu no... Let's go to Mayori. Like something tree. Yes, an evergreen tree. And okay, then also so... needs the base. Okay. Uh, so, moi orita. Uh, I don't know this word. So, my orita basically means to descend in this case. It's oh, like okay. The flying down, swooping, swooping down is like probably more okay, accurate. Okay, so... So swoops down. Uh, I guess moto is like uh. Ne moto is root base. It can't. Oh, it can't. Okay. So ne is from tree root, and moto is like origin. So the origin of okay. the root is the tree root. So this yeah, okay. kashino tree is the is the tree house. The okay. Tree house is located over there. Okay, so swoops over the uh base of the tree yes <laughs> Hi, yes so all together says before long the butiradon crosses a river and crosses the thickets of ferns and taking slowly. its time slowly it um swoops down to the base of the of the evergreen tree okay nice, nice. and next is going to be Feverish, on a guy's 
Oriruto. Uh, and then Putera no don wa suguni mata uh, sora heto bita teita. Oh boy, okay. Uh, it's a long Hi. sentence. Uh... So it's easy to split the sentence up for, though. This is our first part. Is Jack ga jime ni suburi oriru. So he suburi oriru okay. from the putera dans no senaka. What do you think that means? Um. So I think suburi means to slide, right? It does. Cool. So it, like he slid on like the ground down. Yeah. It sounds like. Yep, he slid down to the ground. Perfect. This toll, do you know what this toll is telling us? Could it mean and? <laughs> it's, it is a kind of and, but it's almost more closer to when than and. Um, You can't, you, like, it has a little bit of a connotation that after the verse event happens, then we can do the second event. So um, the putteradon would have been unable to sore e tobu once again, if Jack had not subiori do, is kind of a little bit of the connotation. The putteradon waited for him, in other words. Hmm. Uh, okay. So then we have suguni. That's a time phrase. What does that mean? Uh, and like immediately? Yep. Nice. And then, uh, <laughs> mata sore e tobitatte ita. So tobitatte, you can just think about it as tobimashtad. In this context. Okay. So it uh, immediately flew into the sky. Yes. Uh, Tawitate is just a specific word used for takeoff. Versus just oh, already being like in flight. Or... No, the, the takeoff oh. itself. Sorry. <laughs> the the okay. act of taking <laughs> off from the ground is Tawitate. Versus uh, Tobu. Tobu would be like soaring. It's already in flight. So if it was sore, mm. tobimashita would just mean it's flying toward the sky, but it would almost insinuate that it was already flying in the sky and just decided to go up a little bit more, perhaps. So Tate is specifically saying it wasn't flying, but now it is. Okay, so like off a runway. <laughs> hi, hi, exactly. And um, I'm going to do Blake. Onegaishimasu. Okay, uh, Zaku wa zuri, uh... So basically, Jack, um, let me think about this and I could maybe translate it. So, uh, Suri, Zuri, I guess I don't know Zuri. Well, let's look at the Mega Nail Nausu part first. You want a meganes? <laughs> you muted yourself again. <laughs> like I was. No, high. if he, if yeah, if he um, like when he fixes the glasses, it's a conditional. Yes. So how would you Megane fix your glasses? Still... What what would have to happen uh, to your glasses first in order to be able to fix them? Fix the break. Them to be... Oh, I guess like oh, it does like fall. Yeah. Like I guess I didn't know the Zuri. So this fixing is less like taking tape and fixing. It's actually more fixing the correct position of the glasses. Oh, okay. So it just fixes his uh, if he fixes glasses and glasses. Because yeah. uh, they slid down his nose. So Zuri yeah. is like sliding and Ochiru is to fall. So they were like this and he now sued. Fixed them. Yeah. So nice. so if he's yeah, it's like a conditional. So if he's able to fix his glasses um he's able to look up at the pterodon yes i don't know yeah pterodon so, and then subaya oh so sorry this means continue. to mutter mm. oh so it's so but like his so and then he used and then he muttered yep he was... handy. okay yes so even though this is kind of a, t a conditional uh, it is being used to just kind of list events where one thing happened first and then the second thing happened, basically. So he wouldn't have been able to see the Putteradon if he didn't have his glasses on, right? They're down his nose. You can't see nothing. So he had to first push up his glasses before he could say, Arigato, Henry, even though he's only muttering it and not really yelling it. <laughs> but he couldn't have Mia Agitad without his glasses fixed up, right? 
So it's kind of a conditional, but it's not like there's other conditionals in Japanese. So it's like a, it's more like when hmm. or after. Like tara. <laughs> I guess tara is more colloquial. And, Hi -hi. Yeah. Um, so next is going to be project. Big brother, are you okay? She screamed from the top of the tree house. Perfect. Top of the tree. <laughs> yep. Um, feverish. On Yes. Uh, Jaku wa iki wo hazumasu nagara. Uh, so do you know what iki means uh like breath yes yeah, so how do you think he would be breathing in this situation probably pretty heavily hi so he's kind of gasping for breath <gasps> you know what <laughs> nagara means uh yeah i'm not sure so nagara is is used to say while so while gasping for breath, what did Jack do? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, kotairu means to answer. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so he answered the question, Daijoubu? Are you okay? And his answer is this. Um, Blake, onigaishimasu. Annie, thanks for saving me. Exactly. And I'll give you the next one as well. Uh, it was a splendid or, I guess, amazing uh, flight adventure. Perfect. And project, onigaishimasu. Hi, <laughs> But Jack's, uh, Jack's feet, there was no strain in his feet. I think the feet is shivering. Gaku, gaku. I'm not sure. Well, what the, it's, it's, it's just a sound effect, I think. His, 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 his legs are like shaking, right? Because he does. Uh, high, high high he doesn't have power in his legs anymore, so they're kind of they're quivering, right? They're knocking together. Why he was just 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 going around? Yeah, mota okay. mota kind of means like it. It can mean like going around, but over here it's kind of like inefficient or slowly, which which is kind of random in this situation. He's dawdling, so so it's it's like dawdling works better in here because Annie's gonna yell, "Hayaku, nobotte kite!" <laughs> so he's dawdling. His his legs are go are all cracked, are um knocking together. He has no power, so he's dawdling, right? Yeah. He and um Blake um I'm not sure what this verb is bote bote? Uh, oh, no yeah, bot bote. oh no bote okay okay so it says no bote <laughs> sorry I, the kanji would have helped uh, Hi, so this name. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, uh, I, I thought it was like hayaku no and i was like i don't think would you use no after like a, okay I'm never, okay so uh uh i guess uh quickly uh i i'm quickly writing or like getting on i don't know no uh oh get get on the, quickly get get on that quickly uh, so, so noboru has there, there's two words like noru and noboru oh yeah no, uh, no, noboru so noboru uh, is the climb like to, yeah like the climb yeah yeah so quickly get up uh, right. qu quickly get on uh the dinosaur is coming our way or i guess yeah perfect coming our way. So and this wall right here is just saying um she's a girl so she is that's an exclamation for like females yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this kite right here um it's like this is starting to do it doesn't actually mean starting to do. Uh, what it means is that you need to come toward the speaker. 
So oh, Annie okay. is up in the treehouse. So that's why she said, which means climb yeah. up towards me. So come yeah. climb up would be how you could translate that into English by just by okay. going come. Oh, that makes sense. Nice. And um, feverish. Yes. Uh, uh, Terano Saurusu ga uh, Monosu Goi uh, and then Kaode Toshin Shitakuru. Wow. So Monosu Goi is basically the same as Sugoi. Don't think too hard on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like saying Sugoku Sugoi. <laughs> okay, um, and I know Sugoi means amazing. Uh, hi, hi, hi. Um, so first off, we have Furikaite. What do you think that means? Furikaite miru. My hint is that originally Jack is facing this way, and the T-Rex is over here. Okay. Um, could it be that he's looking behind? Exactly. <laughs> yep. Furikaite means uh, turn back. Uh, furi is like used when you shake your head. And kaite is like kaiiru to return. So to shake returning. So to turn your head back to where you came. Um, mm. And then he's going to look, miru. And we see this to right here that shows up so much in Japanese. Do you remember what to means, Peter? <laughs> you had this last time. What yes, as, as soon as he looked back, um, yes. th the T Rex did something. <laughs> exactly. And what it's doing is toshin. Toshin shite kuru. Well, for you, you know what this kudu is telling us, right? Uh, what direction <laughs> is the T-Rex moving in? Uh, probably like towards him, I guess. Yep, kudu is telling us towards Jack. Toshin okay. is, is composed of stabbing and forward. What do you think a stabbing forward movement would be? Hmm. Uh, it could be like rushing... Yes, it means a rush or a charge. So the Totodong rushes and charges towards Jack with its monosugoi cow. With its amazing Amazingly face. big head. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Theoretically, it does say face, but we would probably say head if we were translating it. With this amazingly big face. I, I don't know. I feel like head <laughs> would work better in English, even though it means face. We didn't say atama, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably use head if the Tyrannosaurus was approaching me. Eto Blake, onigashimasu. Okay. Hmm. Zack wa awatete nawabashiko ni ashi wo kakita. So, um, I guess Jack, being confused, uh, rope ladder? Like, climbed up the yep. rope ladder. Okay. Cool. Great. So even though awatete can kind of be confused, it'd be better to translate it as in a panic in this kind of context. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, hayaku, hayaku, hurry up, hurry up! And project. Onigashimasu. <laughs> Annie screamed. I'm sorry, I am finishing now. It's so Jack. Asereba aseru hodo, which is the to Annie be in a panic, to panic to the extent that someone could panic. So the most panicking. Panic is yeah. So this means super duper I... panic. <laughs> Like the most panicky person there. It's like I said it, but I said it was panicking as much. Well, if, I mean, if, you, if you look at the grammar for it, it makes sense. So, hold on is like the extent. So, the extent you could panic, you could say she was panicking. <laughs> It's kind of saying. So if we were talking about panicking, when you think about the furthest extent of what panicking could withstand, that's what Annie was doing. Uh, uh, 
the uh, she's uh, uh he's okay, I don't get it. Who is so, doing this action? I sh- uh, I'll double check Kakeru in a second, but um, I believe we're talking about Jack, because Jack is the one who's panicking right now. He started to climb up the ladder, and what's happened is that he's starting to panic so much that his legs have gotten stuck, and now he can nobora nine. What does nobora nine mean? Mm-hmm. Nobora nine it means he cannot climb up. Yes, he cannot climb up. He's not able to climb. Yeah. So, um, just for some reason, we have two different subjects here with um, Annie calling out in her voice, Hayaku, to call out. Call, so Annie calls out. However, he's panicking so much that he gets stuck and cannot climb. Hayaku, Hayaku! Um... Uh-huh. Um, and Blake. Oh, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, right, wait. Okay, so remember, I don't have the paid version of Zoom, so we're doing the switcheroo, so I'm going to stop sharing. There's going to be a new link to click. So, yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> oh, okay. I just got to do that whenever we end the page.